Hello, so in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to increase the drive and energy in your track. So it might be that you're making a tune that you want to really smash the dance floor and it's sounding a bit too laid back, or maybe you're already working on the arrangement and you're looking to pick up the energy in a specific section, maybe coming up to the climax or the breakdown of the tune. So if you found yourself in that situation, this tutorial is going to massively help you out. Let's dive in by having a listen to our loop. So the idea in a nutshell is that we're going to increase the speed that our rhythmic sounds are looping over. So let me give you a demonstration. At the moment, we've got a bass pattern that is looping over one bar. And to increase the speed that it's looping over, we could do a version that's looping over just a half bar. So have a listen to how this affects the energy and the drive of this track. Straight away you feel a lot of energy and this is a classic sort of half bar bass line sound that you'd find in techno. Very often things are looping over a half bar to really drive it forward. Let's now move on to the hats. So we've just got an offbeat hat, so this is looping over a quarter of a bar. So we could make it loop over an eighth of a bar. Or a sixteenth of a bar. So again, let's hear this in context. Just going to take these down a touch. Let's go again. You get the idea. Let's move on. We'll do one more. We're going to have a look at the ARP now. So the ARP is currently cycling over one bar. Let's make this a half bar. So again, I'll duplicate it out. And let's have a listen to what we get. So I'm not mad on that. I'm just going to move this note. In fact, what I think we can do here is we can still make it a bar, but we'll just make the feel of it like it's a half bar. So literally, we'll duplicate this across so it's playing a bar. But I kind of like this vibe that we had with one of these notes up and one down in pitch. So, of course, if we play just the half bar, it seems even faster, even more driving. But this still feels like a step up from what we had before, because it's bar that one note, it still feels like it's looping over a half bar. And we could go and sort of pick this up a little bit more if we had some delay. So let's have a quick play around with this. I'm just going to add some filter modulation to this. I'll put it all the way wet so you can hear what this is doing. It's basically rocking that filter up and down. So we get another nice rhythmic aspect to this. Let's dial this back in. You 
can really hear how much the energy has picked up in this one from where we started. So if you find your tracks are often lacking that extra bit of energy, that bit of drive that you need, then give this technique a go. I hope you found the tutorial useful. Please do let me know how you get on in the comments below this video. All the best. Take care until next time. Happy music making.